Hello everyone, we are now going to discuss about the Arden's theorem in this uh, lecture and uh, Arden's theorem is the very important theorem with respect to the regular expression. So let's first write the statement of the Arden's theorem. The statement says that, uh, let's say we have P and Q, the two regular expressions. Let's say P and Q are two regular expressions and these regular expressions are over the input alphabet sigma. If P does not contain, does not contain epsilon, it means in the regular expression of the P, there is no place for epsilon. Then following equations in R, given by r is equals to q plus rp has a unique solution that is r is equals to qp star. <laughs> now, uh, let us prove the two things. The first thing is that it has a solution r is equals to qp star. And the second is that it has a unique solution. So let's prove the first part. So let's take, let's take uh, one equation, which is given as R is equals to Q plus RP. And in the right hand side part, replace R with QP star, which is the solution. So in the right hand side part, I'm going to replace this R as QP star. Okay. So P is already there. So I'm replacing this R as QP star. Now, if I take Q as the common, so at this place, kuch bhi nahi basta. If there is nothing in the mathematics, we would have written here one, but in the regular expression, I will write as epsilon and the P star P. Now, meaning of the P star P is P plus. It means at least one P. And we have already seen in the previous lecture in the identities that if I have epsilon plus R, R star, then I will write it as R star. Similarly, this part will be written as P star. We have written this, we have actually proved this also. So if you don't remember, let's recall it. Let's epsilon plus R, R star means epsilon plus R plus. R plus means at least one R. So this set will contain R, 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 and so on and so forth. And I have to add the, or we have to take the union of epsilon with this one. So the set now will contain epsilon, R, 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 and so on and so forth. And this means R star. So that's what we have written here. So R is equals to QP star. We are getting <clears throat> the solution here. It means the first part of the Arden's theorem has been proven that it has a solution QP star. Now let us try to prove the second part. The second part is saying that it has the unique solution. So let's write the equation R is equals to Q plus RP. Now in this R, you replace with the with it itself. It means you replace this with the equation. Let's say this was the equation one. So wherever there is R, I will replace it that with the Q plus RP. So we have Q plus RP and then followed by P. So this becomes Q plus QP. And then you can say here as RP squared. There are two P's here. After this, you again replace the R with the Q plus RP. And then we have P square. And then let's expand this. So this becomes QP square plus RP Q. After this, let's say we have expanded this n times. So if we have expanded the, this n times, so this becomes Q plus QP, QP square, and so on and so forth. QP raised to the power n and then plus R P raised to the power N plus one. 
Okay, so this means that if I replace this R with QP star, that already has the solution. We have already found that this is the solution. If I replace this as QP star, and then P raised to the power n plus one, that simply means that Q plus QP plus QP square and so on and so forth, QP raised to the power n, n plus, first the QP star, and then a P, and then P raised to the power n. So this means that this is P plus, at least one P, okay? Now, if I take it as Q as the common, so this becomes epsilon plus P, plus P square, it means we are talking about the P's and then we're writing the P raised to the power N, then we're writing that we have a P star and then a P and then P raised to the power N. So if this series is expanding with P star in hand, it means we can take any number of the P's. How many number of P's will pick? Kar sakte Fine, so this actually is representing, this entire part is actually representing QP star. Q is already there outside. So the entire part inside is actually P star. So this way you have proven that the Arden's theorem, according to the Arden's theorem, R is equals to Q plus RP has only one solution that is QP star and there is no other solution. So only by putting the QP star you are getting the solution as R is equals to QP star. So this is the proof of the given Arden's theorem. So we will be using this Arden's theorem for finding out the uh, regular expression equivalent of the given NFA and DFA in the next lecture. Now, one thing we should remember that the Arden's theorem applies to this Arden's theorem applies to NFA and it applies to DFA, but it does not apply to epsilon NFA. Ye epsilon NFA pe applicable nahi hai. Ye aapko dhyan rakhna chahiye. It is applicable on NFA. It is applicable on DFA also. So thanks for watching this video. We will meet in the next lecture with the conversion of the uh, finite automata to the regular expression. Thanks for watching.